Mr. Burkholz, ladies and gentlemen, tonight I want to share with you my personal experience with social media and the way it affects me. I would like to emphasize with you the importance of not comparing ourselves with everybody around us and that being unique and totally ourselves is the best thing we have. My social media use has increased since I came to Australia. I think it was because there were new people here in Townsville plus all my friends in Germany that I wanted to impress. When I do a post it takes many shots because I want to have the best picture possible. It has to look cool and cute, showing the best of a body image to impress people who only know me from Instagram and never met me in person. It also has to look natural, as though it was spontaneous. Sometimes I also use special apps to remove pimples or improve the colors. I basically try to have that photo look perfect. Last, you need a cool caption that sends your post apart from the rest. This is pretty normal behavior for most of the teenagers, both here and in Germany. Some of my friends are even worse, as they use huge applications and edit their photos in Photoshop and only meet up for a photo shoot for one post on Instagram. But this is the world we live in 2019. There's always the fear that this post will stay in the internet forever. Of course, in real life we choose who sees us, and the outer appearance is not as important as our character. On Instagram it's always a hidden competition. You're more popular if you have nicer pictures, more posts, and the most important fact is who has the most followers and the more likes. But now when I look back, I realize it's not only about taking pictures and how much time I wasted only to obtain this one perfect shot each week. Is that an American study in 2012 also linked less screen time usage to happiness, self-esteem and life satisfaction and that our happiness level increases with the less time we spend on our phones. But can we really be completely happy? Sometimes when I'm completely happy, I think there has to be something wrong. When I compare myself to other people who have less than myself, I feel a little bit guilty. When I think about my life in total, I think it's perfect. But then I see these people who have less than myself and not the possibilities that I have because of where they were born and the families they were born into. I think this is also what my generation has to deal with. There's so much information and so much comparison. There are always people who have more than myself, that are richer, prettier or smarter. But then I saw those who have less than myself. So there's always something to worry about. So what is the answer? The older generation might say, put your phone away, but this is not the answer for my generation. If I would not have a phone or post on social media, I would have less friends. I would not know so many people. Also, my friends in Germany can follow me here in Australia. So part of the negative effect, I ultimately believe that the positives, um, the benefits of social media outweigh the negatives. What I'm realizing is the balance and the amount of time I spend on each post. It's easy in today's life that we forget our personal qualities. It's easy to forget the memories that make me unique. You can't see these from the outside. They're inside of me, personal and private. So now, when I do my pictures with my friends, I say, let's take pictures for our memories. The funny photos, the nature spontaneous, not the photo shoots. Ladies and gentlemen, Memories never die.